evening and welcome to our January Jammin' Party. My name is Esther Minwari. I'm Rachel Chu. And I'm Nathaniel Coleman. The music students worked hard last semester and we're here tonight to share and celebrate their accomplishments. We wish we were all able to celebrate in person together, but we hope that this virtual concert can bring you joy and excitement. We're proud of our students and we know you are too. So sit back, relax, grab your favorite foods and drink, and enjoy the show. Thank you. 
boy would one day walk on water. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would save our sons and daughters? Did you know that your baby boy would come to make you Delivered will soon deliver you. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would give sight to a blind man? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would calm the storm with his hand? Did you know? Then you kiss the face of God, oh Mary, did you know? Did you know that your baby boy is Lord of all creation? Mary, did you know that your baby boy will one day rule the nations? Did you know that your baby boy is heaven? A small village sits on a mountaintop. It is surrounded by a peaceful beach. The people living there work in harmony. Happy families live in the village. They love to sing, dance, and they love to play music. One family in particular is happy to live together with a son named Adam and a daughter named Gwen. They also have a pet guinea pig. Adam and the guinea pig are great friends. The village boy Adam is talking to guinea pig while they go to the market to find some food. On the way, they start talking about some funny story. Adam's parents say, your guinea pig can talk. The village boy's neighbor named Mr. Harvester does not like Adam or the guinea pig. Mr. Harvester wants to be the god of life and trees. He goes to the magic mountain to find a magic crystal that can give him magical powers. Little does he know that the crystal has two different sides to it. He finds the crystal, picks it up, and instead of turning it into the powerful god of life and trees, he turns it into a great big giant. Mr. Harvester is now an evil, mean magic giant and begins to destroy everything in his sight. His rake turns into a powerful hammer that damages everything it touches. The giant uses this weapon to destroy the village houses and the people living there. The giant tries to destroy each and every one of them. The people of the village see the giant has destroyed everything and everyone runs away. All the village people run away screaming with fear from the giant. The guinea pig and the village boy Adam want to build a home since the giant has destroyed all the other homes. 
Adam's parents give him and the guinea pig permission to build the home. The giant continues to destroy everything in his sight. The giant, thinking he has infinite power, demolishes everything and anything that he sees. He breaks everything that belongs to the people in the village. The village boy Adam and the guinea pig are resting in their new home, which happens to be near the crystal, until they see the giant stomping around. They try to run away, but they accidentally touch the crystal that was nearby. It turns the village boy Adam and the guinea pig and gives the boy and the guinea pig new costumes and new powers and weapons. The guinea pig turns into a vampire guinea pig and the village boy Adam turns into a magic cowboy named Harry. The vampire guinea pig has wings to fly and the cowboy Harry has a magic cowboy rope and a magic horse with wings. Plus, they're feeling good. Harry and the vampire guinea pig use their magic powers to stop the giant. Harry says, we need to go and stop Mr. Harvester, and they went after him. So Vampire Guinea Pig and the Cowboy found the giant and got into a big fight. Our heroes need to get the crystal from the giant. Cowboy Harry chases after him while the Vampire Guinea Pig flies to get the giant. The giant runs into the gold mine and the heroes leap into a cart to chase the giant. Cowboy Harry grabs the crystal with his magic cowboy rope and saves the village. The giant turns back into Mr. Harvester and he acts like a good guy again. The crystal is returned to the Magic Mountain. Vampire Guinea Pig and Cowboy Harry are the heroes of the village. Adam's parents are proud of him and the guinea pig. The villain is defeated and the heroes save the village. Mr. Harvester hopes to be a better person. The vampire guinea pig and the cowboy Harry live happily ever after.